Hi Tara Readers Academy, it's Anthony and uh, I wanted to, it's your headmistress here, um, <laughs> and I wanted to share with you a little uh, tutorial today on a couple of quick three card spreads that I use a lot and that were inspired by some amazing members of the tarot community. Um, so you may be watching this on the Academy group on Facebook or on the certification course is just a little bonus um, so I yeah wanted to share with you um, some three card spreads uh, and how you can interpret them and just some of the tips that I use or the ways in which that I see um, yeah, how I see the cards connecting with each other and how I tend to try and make a story and have them uh, relate so especially if you're learning tarot this can be um, fun to do uh, three card spreads for yourself or for other people. So the decks that I'm going to be using today, the first one is um, called Tarot by Peter and Rihanna, Rihanna and McLaughlin. I believe it's out of print. Um, the backs are so pretty. It's got, this got bent. <laughs> um, I haven't used this deck. I Yesterday, I the other day I actually went through and cycled my decks around so that I could work with some of the decks that I haven't because they've been in storage or been in boxes. So the first um, the first three card spread I came across from Wild Moon Woman on YouTube, the lovely Wild Moon Woman, Elise. I'm just going to give this a shuffle because it's in order doesn't really matter you could pull although it would be very interesting if it was in order and this is a spread to help you sort of see where you're going um, and kind of to, to pause and reflect on a situation um, or to help you with a goal like manifesting a goal Mini decks are so great for travel too. Although sometimes mini decks because there's so many cards. <clears throat> okay, so just giving that a good old shuffle. So the first position is where you are. The second position is where you're going. And the third position is how you're going to get there or the action that you need to take or the thing that you need to consider and like with every um, every reading you want to take a look at what elements are at play in the cards and what kind of cards you get to so let's have a look I'm just going to throw it down I don't have anything in particular so the first one is where you are and I will hold the cards up to the the screen so you can see them better. I'm getting a new rig for my phone but I don't have it. Now the second one is where you're going so you would put them you would lay them down like this and then the third one is the bridge okay and you wouldn't I wouldn't read it <laughs> like that I would turn it and I don't read reversals right so um, if you do read reversals then you want to make sure you don't do what I just did because you could be flipping the orientation of the card um, but I don't read reversal, so it doesn't matter. So the first one is where, where, where this person is, and they're not in a very good place right now. This is a three of swords. Um, so they are healing. They're going through a place of, um, you know, heartbreak and possibly recovering from surgery as well. Sometimes the three of swords can indicate surgery. Uh, so they're they're in a place of healing. So the while this is a definitely a card that's like mm, shit things ain't good, this is also a very much a card of healing. Okay, so they're in a healing space. And so where are they moving to through this? Okay, they'd be moving through to the Four of Pentacles. So this again is not exactly the most positive reading. <laughs> <laughs> Should have rigged the cards, you know. Um, then they're moving towards a place of actually, I find this quite actually a positive card in regards from maybe that healing space and maybe this three of 
of swords was expensive. Maybe it was like, oh shit, they really took a hit. Um, and at least with the four of uh, four of pentacles, often called like the miser or the Scrooge card, at least they've got the money to hold on to. Like they're going to recover and be in a space where they're kind of can be seen as a Scrooge or they're kind of like, oh, okay, um, at least we've got the money and we've, it's it falls of security. I guess what I'm trying to say. All falls of security. So at least they're going to be moving forward to feeling like they have a little bit more financial security, which is good. Um, and the lesson in this, if I was reading this for a client, I would say don't allow the heartbreak and the difficulties that you're experiencing right now lead you to feel like you need to hold on to everything really tightly. Um, there's obviously a, a lesson in that, in that for that person. You know, you don't want to, you, you don't want to, oh no, I fell on the freaking floor. <laughs> you don't want to end up, you know, being a, being a Scrooge McDucko. Oh, and look, we have an even better one. And how are we going to get there? <laughs> um, the seven of swords, which I often see as a, the going on your own, doing things on your own. Um, you know, people, some of the key words or the, the most common keywords that we find with the swords or the, especially the seven of swords is like trickery or thievery, um, which yes, it can be that. It definitely can be that. But on, in this instance, and if we were telling the story of this card, this reading, for me, this would be, you need to become more self-resourceful and self-reliant um, because obviously someone has let you down. Uh, and it's not to say, you know, don't talk to anyone and don't become this withdrawn miser, like, <laughs> I hate everybody kind of person, but you certainly do need to find more of your own stability and more of your own, um, way of being and more happiness on your own and not, not to be afraid of, you know, carving your own path and doing things your own way. Um, and if we then look at, then we look at the elemental overall of this, we have a mind, we have very much the mind, the realm of ideas and beliefs um, and the things that we tell ourselves and tell, each, tell other people moving to the body. So we have this person going from a very mind experience and a healing experience of changing ideals and, and changing from this, like relying on other people, then relying on the self and coming more down into the body and being more capable and it kind of reminds me of when um when i'm really fit and when i do a lot of hiking the the trust that i get in my body is just like i push it a little bit more i i tend to experiment more with go on more technical hikes um whereas if i haven't been doing that if i've been relying on other things and i i'm not really in my body so for me this is a if i was reading this for a client this would be their their journey from having a very mental experience um, and a very um, shifting of beliefs within regards to trusting their own abilities. So you can get a lot out of three cards, my dears. So again, that was um, first position is when first position is where you are. So this person is juggling two of pentacles. Second position is where you're going. So there's might be a change there with the death card. Well. Might be a change, is going to be a change. <laughs> it's like, the death card could mean change. No, the death card means change. Um, and how they're going to get there. So the wheel, interesting to two, two change cards. Um, you know, maybe they're doing way too much and they need to lighten the load and that's going to happen. It's going to get taken out of the control of this is going to get taken out of their hands by the two major arcana. So where you are, where you're going and how you're going to get there. Um, action, thought, belief person that's going to help you kind of thing so that's the first one and then the second one is um actually Ka uh katie flowers on youtube said that this was her one of her go-to three card spreads for um making decisions minor decision making and this is i really like this uh you know, it could just be that you need to get out of your own head or you, you've got a friend who is looking at making a decision. Um, I mean, for big decisions, and I get a lot of clients who ask very big decision questions, I would wouldn't I would dig deeper in this. I would want to look at this from a lot lot of angles. Um, but for smaller things, it's this is a great spread. 
the, this is the Distant Past Tarot by Jerry Totten Design. I have the playing card um, size. I think, I mean, I love this deck because this color palette, these like turquoise is one of my favorite colors. Um, so this color palette runs all the way through this deck. It's, it's all, it's all like this. And, um, I have the Victorian Romantic Tarot, which is one of my favorite tarot decks of all time for romance readings. If you ever get a love right reading from me, you're probably going to get that, that deck. But, um, this deck kind of allows me that, that vibe, um, in a smaller package. Like if I was traveling, I'd, I'd more likely take this than the Victorian Romantic because Victorian Romantic is out of print. So you can get, you can still get this deck. Okay, so the first position in this one, you can do this just from left to right or right to left. It really doesn't, really doesn't matter. Is pros, cons, oh look at that, two knights and advice. <laughs> Now, if you are one of the tarot students who just does, does, does not like <laughs> court cards, you would probably be like, I'm going to flip it down and you're like, oh crap. Okay, so the pros here, um, for me, very much speaking about taking action, um, going after it, sticking to your ideals. I, I mean, you know, if any of you know me very well, I adore the court cards like uh, so much. Um, being the warrior of your own life and, and going after what you want. So this pros are saying the ideas are there, you, the drive is there, you definitely have this will to take action and that's wonderful. But then we have the cons and these are very conflicting. <laughs> these are, if you could get two of two court cards um, in the nights that are conflicting more, it would be this. And even, I even love, look how she's done that aesthetically as well. So for me, and I'm not saying I'm the queen of all things tarot, um, one day, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but for me, look how she's even done that. So like the, the white horse here and the dark horse there, the horses are looking in opposite directions and so are the knights. Um, the, the armor is completely different. One's got a helmet, one doesn't. One's like, fuck it, I don't need no helmet. Um, so even visually here with the pros and the cons, we get this extremely um, polar experience. One wants to go one way, one wants to go the other way. The mind is saying one thing, the body is saying something else. Um, a very, you know, wonder this person wanted some, <laughs> wanted some guidance. And I haven't even thought of anyone, I was just chucking cards. Um, so this is it very much of like the head and the heart maybe are, are speaking in different things or like physically they're not really sure or resource wise you know it might be a um they may need to put some money down for this decision so they're not sure if it's the right way to go and money tends to be a big reason why people don't make choices or are afraid to commit to something um you know for my years many years of <laughs> of reading tarot getting old um so and on top of this too this is the slow and steady Night. This is the night that takes every step forward. They think of everything. They dot their eyes. They cross their T's. They're in it for the long haul. This one wants to just get there. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? The impatient Gemini. <laughs> this is the the uh, steady Capricorn. So uh, yeah, very 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 conflicting cards. The cons are it may take a while. There may be money that needs to be put down. They're not sure whether they can muster the resources and go the distance. Um, or, and I would also say in the cons for this as well, if, we, if I had this in the cons position, is that it's like, are you looking long term? Because as I mentioned, this is the card of the, endur of the endurance person. This is a marathon, not the sprint. So short term, it may sound like a really good idea, but long term, are you really in this? Are you committing to this or are you just wanting the thing and you're not really thinking it through? And then the advice is the high priestess. And here, you know, for me, she's saying that in this reading, and there are many, many ways to interpret this, um, but being a major arcana card, not only would this say maybe consult someone outside of your own sphere, like get out of your own way, consult a, a reader, um, someone you trust, um, go to someone who is a 
who is spiritual and can kind of get get out of your own head um, come back to it maybe consult the cards later it's not the right time to make the decision um, and do some really deep work for yourself like if you need to do a journey or some meditation or you need to yeah this is a cause for contemplation right this is more supportive of and if we look at this position of advice is this advice position card more supportive of the knight of swords or the knight of coins pentacles we would say def oh, well, i would definitely say the knight of pentacles um, if it was the sun or if it was a card that was more action oriented or make a decision and move forward i would say it would be more on the knight of swords but then you could also say that she's saying trust your gut and go for it but then your gut is also tied to the knight of coins so um that's that spread so again to go over the um the positions for this one is pros ten of swords it's over cons got to start again advice got to walk away so, um, yeah, these are just some really, really cool, easy three card spreads. Um, I suggest well, in, in, my, uh, in the course, the certification course, uh, there's a lot of practicing of different spreads and there's a reason for it is to just help your confidence. And sometimes we focus so much on, you know, what is the meaning of one card but then when we lay it out and we start to see how these cards, these personalities, these energies work together, you know, how they relate, how they react, because they will all react to each other just as we react to situations and people. It becomes a completely different story. So um, I want to thank again the lovely Wild Moon Woman and Katie Flowers um, for these amazing three card spreads which I'm sharing with you today and, and showing you um, a couple of examples and I hope that you have found this interesting and um, yeah if you use them and you uh, I'd love to see what you get um, and thank you so much for watching